guys. This is probably similar to what we did last week with one of our videos that you may have seen. Common theme, business um, vendor central sellers. So you can always tell if it's vendor central by it's sold by. So what that means when it's sold by Amazon.com, it pretty much means the these vendor central, not seller central. Um, you sh you, Amazon sends you a PO and you ship the product into them. Super easy for standardized products. Perfect example, toilet paper or battery. Um, big brand names know about it. You don't have to do much to your listing. Um, and Amazon's a great platform to get more sales through for it. So again, with this one here, and you can tell that by the imagery, the imagery is fairly basic in terms of what's being shown. And then if you look at the bullet points, it's not, not well populated out. So this is a common example of what you see on a um, Vendor Central account. So guys, I won't go into a detailed analysis of these. I haven't done a gap analysis. What I mentioned, like uh, we did one last week, this comes back to an e-commerce strategy. So if you're looking at for Marika Women's um, business, the, the question is, how important is Amazon to you as a sales channel? If it's a lower priority, consumer vendor central is fine. If it's a strategic direction where for e-commerce, you want to push on Amazon, you need to be on seller central. So it comes back to a strategic e-commerce question about how to run it. Um, at a minimum, even if you do make some of the updates, I'm sure it would help. But generally when people are on the amazon.com vendor central platform, it's a secondary priority, but it's still additional sales. Thanks, guys.